everybody. Welcome back. I have a simple DIY for you today that I shot two days ago when it was so sunny outside and now I'm staring out my window at like six inches of snow. This weather is crazy this year but I just got the urge to go outside and paint something or do something because it was just too nice to stay inside. So I decided to take a plastic storage container that I got like six years ago and have been keeping makeup in and I decided to spray paint it and add some embellishments and just make it fit in more with our room and just make our house look a little bit prettier. Uh, so I wanted to show you what I did today and I'll insert a picture of the original storage container right here. Okay, now you know what we're working with. I'll show you the end product, which is right here. So I use kind of a Tiffany blue, baby blue kind of color. And, and then for the, um, for the embellishments here, I just went to Hobby Lobby and I got some little bead clusters and I put them on there so it looks kind of like faux knobs. Uh, I didn't film that part because it's super easy. You just have to hook in a thumbtack into this little cluster and then poke it through the drawer. So uh, you could also super glue any type of embellishment on that you liked instead, like rhinestones or, um, or other beads. It's really up to you and what you prefer. So yeah, so I'm going to show you and take you step by step how to spray paint your plastic storage containers that might be laying around so that they fit in a little bit more with your home decor and just add a little bit of pop of color maybe. So if you're interested, stick around. If you have any questions about what I did or what products I used or anything, I'll list them all below. And uh, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions of things I should be DIYing, please leave them down below as well. Please don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me to know that some other people are watching the things I'm doing. Um, yeah, and we can also talk on Twitter, so I'll leave a link to that below as well. And as always, I hope you're having a great day and you have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, to get started, we're gonna take whatever we're going to paint and some special spray paint. This is the Krylon Color Master in the color Ocean Breeze. It's a gloss finish. And this type of spray paint is specially formulated to paint plastic items. So you wanna make sure that you have that kind. Then you need some rubbing alcohol to clean down your item, along with a rag or dish towel. Then some gloves to protect your hands. And a piece of white paper just to test the color. So you can see I tested the color to make sure it's the right color that I wanted. So I'm just gonna move these other things out of the way here and take my rubbing alcohol and put it on this towel just to clean down and remove all of the excess oils and dirt so that the spray paint sticks really well. Okay, so now I've put down some plastic on the table to protect it from the spray paint. And I've also put on my gloves to protect my hands. And so we're ready to paint. So I have my spray paint here, the Krylon. And I'm just going to shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. You wanna mix all of the pigments together so you get an even color. So keep shaking. Just more shaking. And now it's tricky to get the top off of this can, but we're gonna do it. So now we want to spray in sweeping even motions so we get the same color and same color concentration on all sides. So here we go. I'm gonna do this side. And when you're spraying, you wanna spray one side and then turn it and spray the other side so that it gives that first side a little bit of time to dry. You can put on as many coats as you like to get the desired color, but you want to make sure that you give it time to dry so it doesn't get all drippy. And one more side here. Now we're just going to let this dry. It takes about 10 minutes to dry and you can touch it after one hour. So we'll be back. So now we're back several hours later and our final step is to spray it down with a clear top coat. So I just have this one by Home Accents. And yeah, you're just going to spray it on all sides and the top so that it seals in the color and nothing rubs off when you touch it. So once you do that, then your project is finished. You can put the drawers back in along with whatever you're going to store in them and then you can add the embellishments.